the law of magnetism works with the human being. We have the capacity to attract. We have the capacity to repel. It's remarkable how people would be tired of poverty, but would repel prosperity because they do not realize that their magnet, <laughs> you know, is negative. What they have inside is poverty, but they want to attract prosperity. Makes it a frustrating experience. And then, you know, what makes it even more frustrating is when you see how easy it is for some other people to prosper. Then it does seem like life is unfair. Well, uh, some other people think that others are just lucky. When you understand the principles of success and you apply them, you discover that you have the capacity to create your own luck. You create your luck through obedience, through alignment to the principles that create success. You and I are living magnets. We have the power to attract and we have the power to repel. We have tried to identify the properties inside us that give us this capacity to attract and to repel. And we have identified our thoughts and our emotions. Thoughts are powerful. Ultimately, you attract the material equivalent or the physical equivalent of your most dominant thoughts. By altering your thoughts, you can alter your life. By changing your thinking, you can change your life. You just change your capacity to attract. It's remarkable. Once you understand this principle, then it's something you do for a lifetime, putting more power in your magnet. We've identified the need for us to read, to listen to audio programs, to watch video programs, you know, to attend seminars, to uh, watch our associations and to have mentors. That's it. You do these things consistently for the rest of your life. You will add more power to your magnet every day for the rest of your life. And it means also that Every day will not leave you the way it met you. Your life will get better and better. You will rise higher and higher. You know, some people are afraid that they can go up and then come down, that they can progress and then regress, that they can go forward and then come backward because they've seen, you know, um, other people's examples. What I say to you, when your life is built on principles, things don't change permanently for the negative for you like that because principles never change. Principles never change. So your success just never changes. You rise, you're not coming down, okay? This is the lesson I have learned thinking about us as magnets. What you don't have the power to attract, you don't have the power to retain. That's the challenge there. That if you didn't have the power to attract it in the first place, it came only by happenstance. That object is close to you just because you were moved close to it. The likelihood, therefore, is that you will not be able to keep it or to retain it. You get a promotion that you have no capacity to handle. It means you may not be able to keep it for a long time. You come across money that you don't have the capacity to manage or to handle. It means when that money is gone, you don't have the power to reproduce it. But you see, if you put more power in your magnet, if the object is removed, you have the power to attract another one, if not the same one. So this principle helps us to build sustainable success for the long term. You and I are living magnets. We have the capacity to attract people, 
to attract opportunities, to attract material resources, to attract financial resources. You know, there's this illustration that I give people once in a while and they find it humorous. I tell them, imagine that an angel just floats into the room with a wand and touches my head and then there is light all around me for like two, three minutes. And then when it's all gone, I have changed into the president of the United States or the prime minister of the United Kingdom, or I have become the president <laughs> of my country or your country. I ask people, will your attitude towards me change? They say, oh, sure, yes. And then I tell them, so imagine if wherever the president of the United States is, is disappears and then they, they, they're searching for him and they find out he is where I am. I, tell, I ask them, what do you think would happen when they get to know, you know, where he is? I tell them everything that you normally find around him, the Air Force One, the protocol, the cars, the whatever, will begin to move in the direction where they know he is now. And I say that to illustrate one thing that the human being is the magnet that attracts everything else. Secondly, if you change, your circumstances will change. If you change, people's attitudes toward you will change. If you change, opportunities will show up for you. If you change, resources will move in your direction. I know that the illustration that I gave is simplistic and it doesn't happen like that in real life. However, there is a consolation in one fact that the president of the United States or the prime minister of the UK or the president of your country was not born the way they are. They became like that. I think one of the greatest things we human beings should be happy about is the fact that we have the capacity to change. When we grow and we change, we will attract resources, human, material and financial, like we never attracted before. Change your thinking. Changing your thinking is going to be a fight. It's going to be warfare. But listen to me, when you win inside, you will win on the outside. You break through on the inside, you will break through on the outside. Now, one of the very important things you can do to change your thinking is for you to learn to set goals with deadlines. This is very important. Set goals, that higher level. Set a goal for it and give it a deadline. You know why I'm saying this? It's because there's a way the human system is designed to work and it responds to goals and deadlines. The human system responds to definiteness of purpose. Someone said, nothing becomes dynamic until it becomes specific. There's power in defining, in specifying, in quantifying. It's not enough to say, I want more money. When you say, how much? Your system works better than to just say, I want more money. When you now give it a deadline, okay? For example, you say, I need $10,000. Then you give it a deadline in seven days. Your system opens up like a radar. You see, you don't have all the answers. You don't have all the solutions. But God transmits answers to us. Your system opens up to pick up creative ideas, innovative ideas by intuition. Even your mind kicks in, begins to arrange and to rearrange the information and the knowledge that you have stored before to create a solution. I always tell the story of Dr. Frank Gonzalez, which I read in the book Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Dr. Gonzalez, a reverend minister, you know, was burdened about the school system in Illinois State, in the United States. And he made up his mind he was going to build a school. For two years, he was saying it. If I had a million dollars, I would build a school. If I had a million dollars, 
I will build a school. He did that for two years. One day, the question just came to him. So when are you going to get the one million dollars? And somehow he made up his mind right there and then. In the next two weeks, I will find a way to raise these two million dollars. He said it was like everything had been waiting for him to make up his mind that way because in that instant, his system opened up. Ideas began to come to him. Then he got this interesting idea, preach a sermon on it. So he sent a note to the editor of the newspaper in his city, just put a small classified ad there on Saturday. Now, his experience came on Friday. He's, he had the notice in the newspaper for Saturday. On Sunday, he went to church, preached that sermon. What I would do if I had a million dollars. The moment he finished that sermon and sat down, a man stood up from the back of the hall with his heart in his hand, approached Dr. Gonzalez and said, Sir, I believe that you will do what you said you will do if you had a million dollars. This is my business card. If you won't mind, Reverend, come into my office on Monday. I will give you a check for one million dollars. My name is Philip D. Amo. Wow. Wow. Friday, he made up his mind, gave his goal a deadline. The ideas began to come. Monday, he got a check for a million dollars. He built the school. He named it Philip D. Amo Institute of Technology. Today, it's known as the Illinois State Institute of Technology. Remarkable. What was it that changed everything there? Deadline. So you know what? I've done that so many times, countless number of times. In the last 20 years, I set a target financially. I give it a deadline, an amount of money, you know, that I have not had access to. I remember the first time I took a check, wrote my name on it, wrote an amount of money on it, and the deadline was one year. Oh my God. You know why I would come on television and be teaching these principles all over the world? They're true, they're real, they work. I have practiced them with results to show. One year after I wrote the check and stuck it on the wall in my bedroom, I took my diary because I deliberately now recorded every single dime that came in for me. I checked and I found that income, that amount of income had come in for me for the first time ever. I don't need to tell you that I have written many more checks <laughs> after that, do I? Because it works. A target, a deadline. So, What's the new level of income that you want? When are you going to move to that level? What's the new position? Or what's the position you're dreaming to get to? When are you going to get there? You want a car? What brand? What model? What year? How much is it? When are you going to buy the car? Set a goal. Give it a target. It shifts something in your mind. And remember, that is your magnet shifting. You put more power in your magnet. You increase your capacity to attract the things that you've seen in your dream. I want to tell you about another dimension that is so important, so critical to your ability to put more power in your magnet. Somewhere along the line, after magnets were discovered, somebody carried out an experiment. He found out that whenever he moved electrical objects near filings from metal, they tend to move. And with that, it was discovered that electricity affects magnets. In fact, electricity can create a magnet or create a magnetic field. 
The electricity in the human system is the emotion. Your feelings make you a magnet, sir. Your feelings. They are either positive or they are negative. You need to pay attention to your feelings. When your thoughts and your emotions combined are negative, you attract negative people into your life, you attract problems, you attract crisis into your life. When they are positive, they attract positive people, opportunities, promotion, provision into your life. So you need to exercise control over your feelings, Exercise control over your emotions. Don't stay sad. See, it's not just about the moment. It's about the magnetic field that you are creating around you. Remember again that statement from a former French prime minister. Make big plans. Don't make small plans. Big plans attract big people. Small plans attract small people. And small people cause big problems. See, you attract. When you think poverty, you think lack, you think difficulty, you think impossibility. I'm telling you, it makes it so difficult for prosperity to come close to you. But when you think abundance, I'm not suggesting it's easy. Like I said before, it's warfare. When you think abundance, you see yourself as being successful on the inside. That's exactly what you attract. Talking about emotions, there are different kinds of negative emotions. You have emotions like fear. Fear is dangerous. Fear is destructive. I'm telling you, fear incapacitates you, paralyzes you. Fear attracts negative people. Hatred malice, grudges, envy, depression, discouragement, worry, anxiety. These are negative emotions. They do something to your magnet. I had to overcome worry. Somebody said worry is paying interest on debt you may never hold. Because most times people worry about the future. Worry never solves the problem. It creates more. You have to kill worry. You have to deliberately choose to be positive. You see, the present may not be perfect for you. It may not be ideal. Why don't you create the future? Don't let tomorrow be exactly like today. Don't let today reproduce itself in your tomorrow. Keep today where it is. You know what I learned to do? I learned to keep poverty outside my mind. Even when I didn't have money. On my inside, I was a different man. I was absolutely a different man. When I rode in public transportation and walked on my feet, inside me, I was driving in the best cars in town. I knew the difference. I couldn't control today. I couldn't control the outside, but I knew I could control the inside. And when I controlled the inside, I developed the capacity to create my tomorrow, to determine what I was going to attract in my future. I look back today and I'm grateful that I did not argue with the laws of success. I agreed with them. I obeyed them. They worked for me. The laws of success have no respect for persons. They will work for you.